guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be propagating the miracle tree or calabash tree. Calabash tree which is scientifically known as Crescentia cugete has been used by various people as a remedy for several types of illnesses. It's also commonly known as the miracle tree. Calabash fruit and leaf extracts contain flavonoids such as quercetin and anthroquinone. These important phytochemicals are necessary for anti-angiogenic activities, a process that inhibits the growth and development of new blood vessels in the body. This is mostly helpful for cancer patients. Anti-angiogenesis controls the spread of tumor cells in the body by disabling the transport of nutrients toward the cancerous cells. The parts that are mainly used are the fruit, bark and leaves. Fruits are used to alleviate respiratory problems like cough, common cold symptoms, asthma and bronchitis. They also help to increase the production of insulin in the body and many more benefits. The bark is used as a fever reliever and can be used for earaches also. With the leaves, they can be made into a tea which can help with relieving headaches and can also help in decreasing blood pressure. There are so many benefits that are still unlisted. Miracle fruit is a known detoxifier, anti-aging, anti-cancer, antioxidant, anti-venom, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory and anti-diabetic. Start by choosing a branch on the tree that is at least 1 to 2 inches wide and about 4 to 5 feet long. Use a pruning shear or any other sharp tool to cut the branch at a 45 degree angle. We'll start by removing the leaves, you can just pinch them off or grab a hold of the end and just slide your other hand to the other end and they'll come off easily. Now, we'll cut the branch into 6 inch sections or you can do 1 foot sections as well. It depends on you on how many trees you would like to propagate. We'll be cutting the sections at a 45 degree slant as well. Take a branch and scrape off about 2 to 3 inches of bark from the bottom of the branches. Do this with all the pieces. This is to help the plant be able to recover quicker by having more channels to suck in water.
Plant the cuttings into any pot with soil that holds moisture well. This will enable the cuttings to start rooting and growing new leaves. Once you have the bare stalks planted, place them in an area that is bright but doesn't receive direct sun. Water every day or every other day. Make sure that the soil stays moist but not flooded. The new leaves can take anywhere from 1 to 3 weeks depending on the cuttings and the rooting environment. Once you see the leaves growing, leave it in the pot for at least a month more in order for it to form roots. Once the roots have been formed, you can then transfer it to the final permanent planting space. This tree can grow upwards anywhere from 15 to 20 feet and grow as wide as 10 to 15 feet. You can always prune the extra long branches. Choose a planting spot that can accommodate its size. Don't throw the leaves away. You can make a tea out of this with three simple ingredients. All you need is honey, one stalk of lemongrass and about 7 to 10 calabash leaves, depending on how large they are. Put the lemongrass and leaves in a pot with about 2 to 3 cups of water, bring to a boil for about 10 minutes. You can add the honey now and enjoy it hot or cold. The leaves have the ability to decrease blood pressure and headaches. We'll be cooking the fruit in one of our future videos, which offers more benefits than the leaves. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss that episode. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.